Decommissioning is a complex and multi-step process that begins when a nuclear plant is retired from service and is tailored for each site. The decommissioning process can occur over many years and takes several key steps. As the facility and systems are prepared for long-term storage, carefully decontaminated and dismantled, and the land is restored for future uses. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission oversees each phase of radiological decommissioning. The NRC requires decommissioning to be completed within 60 years of the plant ceasing operations. The first step in decommissioning the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York, is to permanently shut down both generating plants at the facility and stop producing electricity. As required by the NRC, a post-shutdown decommissioning activities report has been submitted, which includes a description of planned decommissioning activities, a timeline, and an estimate of expected costs. Indian Point Energy Center houses two generating plants within the facility. Indian Point Unit 2 will shut down by April 30th, 2020, and Unit 3 by April 30th, 2021. After shutdown, maintenance and other essential operations continue, and security remains in place. All nuclear fuel in the reactor is transferred to the spent fuel pool for initial cooling. Then moved to on-site dry cask storage. Storing used fuel in dry fuel storage casks is an industry standard practice using proven technology subject to strict federal and state regulations and oversight. The dry cask storage system features a welded steel inner canister that fully encloses the spent fuel. That steel canister rests inside a thick steel reinforced concrete cask. The casks provide a contained atmosphere for spent nuclear fuel, radiation shielding, physical protection, and passive heat removal. Casts weigh approximately 180 tons and are designed to withstand natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, high winds, and tornadoes. When a cask is fully loaded, very little heat is generated, typically less than that given off by a home heating system. The residual heat dissipates by natural air circulation within the cask without the need for fans or pumps. The casks are passive, meaning no moving parts are required for their safe operation. Indian Point houses dry casks on a secure, seismically engineered storage pad. The spent fuel will remain safe and secure, under guard and monitored during shutdown and decommissioning, and subject to the NRC's oversight. While dry casks are being loaded and moved to their storage pad, a robust security barrier will remain erected around the facilities. The next phase will involve an NRC-approved decommissioning strategy. During the entire process, independent experts from the NRC will ensure that the implementation of decommissioning is progressing as planned. The spent fuel will remain safe and secure on site until it is taken away for disposal by the U.S. Department of Energy. After the NRC has confirmed that the necessary financial resources are available to complete decommissioning safely, the major components will be dismantled. and disposed of. The site will be decontaminated to standards established by the NRC. When the Indian Point site has been restored, it will then be ready for future uses. Nuclear plant decommissioning has been tested and refined over many decades. So far, more than 34 U.S. reactors have safely completed decommissioning or are in the process of doing so. Entergy is committed to a transparent and open decommissioning process with many opportunities for public participation. For more information about Indian Point's decommissioning, the public process, and what you can expect, visit us online at safesecurevital.com.